Welcome to Flippin' Rejects with me, Shane Lithy. This week, I'm taking some scrap wood I've had laying around the shop for a while now. I'm going to be making a rack that you can hang hats or scarves or basically anything else you can hang in the closet. To do that, I'm going to be using a process called steam bending. Let's get started. First, I'm just sketching out a form that I'll cut out on the bandsaw. I cut four of these forms, but turns out I only needed two. That was the first mistake in this project. Here I am cutting down the walnut to its size. I'll then off camera take this and split it down into its thinner veneers. This is about the only thing that went right with this project. Everything I did with this piece of ash turned out just the way I wanted it to. Here I'm just adding a little bit of water in this fry daddy to get some steam going on these pieces of walnut. This process took so long, it was time for a popsicle break. This process actually took so long that I decided to do a project within a project. And just like this being my first time doing steam bending, this is my first time doing one of these string art paintings. I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube and I decided to try it for myself. I think it turned out okay. It's not great, but it's not bad. Let me know what you think in the comments. After several hours in the steam, I started pulling out the pieces of walnut piece by piece and trying to clamp them to my form. This was the end result. Either some pieces would form up really well, almost 80% correct, or they wouldn't form at all, or they would break really quickly. But instead of giving up, I decided to press forward and take some of this red oak veneer that I had lying around, cut it up, and get it ready to do this process all over again. This time I chose a crock pot and I filled it with water and put these pieces in to soak for hours at a low temperature. After soaking overnight in this crock pot, the red oak came out more pliable and more formable than the walnut had been. I was able to clamp up four pieces to two forms and then I ran out of clamps so I decided to tape these up with some blue tape just to keep the same form. I took the rest of the pieces out clamped them up and we were on our way. I built a second form for the laminated glue up that way I could utilize the small amount of clamps that I did have. And while that glue dried, I returned to that ash piece and put a small chamfer on the top edge and a larger chamfer on the bottom edge. After sanding it down, it was ready for some finish. Here again, I'm using Oil Plus 2C by Rubio Monocoat. This finish brings out the grain 
and all the beauty that's in this piece of ash. Now that these pieces have come out of the glue up, I'm cutting them down to a close enough size that I can sand down the rest. While I'm cutting these pieces on the bandsaw, now's a good time for you to look down in the right hand corner and see my logo, hit that subscribe. Now that I got everything sanded on these pieces, it's time to give these red oak pieces the finishing touch. I'm just drilling some pilot holes in all these pieces to get ready for final assembly. And now to just put everything together. Even with all the mistakes on this project, I still think it turned out really well, and I learned a lot. Let me know what you think in the comments, and hit that like button. Thanks for watching the video. I'll, I'll go first. This is how you do it. There you go. Your turn. All right. Oh, hey. Uh, just out here throwing tomahawk, some knives, and these stars with this bent wood hat rack you guys just watched me build. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you really like it, hit the bell. You'll get a notification every time I take something and flip it into something awesome. All right, y'all go out and have a great day. Go make something awesome. All right, here you go. All right, now for a challenge. Let's see if you can knock this apple off my head. Bentwood hat rack.